Hi everybody, it's Yaya, and today I'm doing a quick video on um, de destructing my Smashbook. This used to be the pink Smashbook, and I took it apart, made the spine bigger, and added purple because it's my favorite color. So for the spine, I just um, made it three inches, and I used six. And I used pad, uh, just plain card, purple cardstock that was six inches and did it so that when you open it up, it could fit here so I can cover it up too. And all my ribbon came from Walmart except for the sequence. I believe I got that from Michaels. Um, and to keep my book together, I used binder rings. And at the end of this video, I'll show you a quick tutorial on how to do it. And I did not come up with this ideal for the binder videos. This was something I got a few years back from watching Laura, Laura Dennison. And I will put a link up to that at the bottom. Okay. So I wanted, um, I like the smash books. I love the paper and everything. But I wanted to be able to do more with it. And with my first pink smash book, it's like halfway done and I can't even open, I can't even close it. So, for the inside, I just took the green paper off that was there and used this white paper. Here's some more of the purple that came over and it's tucked up under this. And I just put some ribbon here to cover everything up. I made one pocket here and then another pocket here just to put stuff here because we need our spaces to store things and here's the pages with all the binding all the pages are still here I can add uh, pockets I can add photo sleeves there's so much you could do with this now and this is the back and it still has another pocket here that goes like that okay so for the inside of my paper, for the inside of my book, sorry, I have the book. This is the front cover sheet. These are the divider tabs that you get that you can buy separately. I just cut the the little notches off here so that you can add it um, into the original smash book. And I'm going to use my crop a dial and hole punch it to put it in here. So I have the three here. The red one was inside the book. And I'm doing the same thing with the dividers. These are the dividers that you can also buy. And I just cut the little hooks off of here so I can um, hole punch it and use it in my smash book. This is the template pocket that I made using the green one that was inside of this one. And I just made a template for it like this. And for the other side, I just made sure I flipped it over like that. I think for this, for doing this here, I'm going to use these eyelets. The, um, these are the uh, cool metal wise to put in here just to make it a little more sturdy. Because you can see it's going to get a lot of use out of this. So I'm going to put these here to make it a little more sturdy. Oh, and for the cover, I use this um, Martha Stewart book plate, and it comes with um, it comes with the insert too, and it's adhesive back. But I use my ATG gun to reinforce the glue here, and it's on pretty good. For the back, I just covered up the smash a little more. I just covered up the smash title because I might decorate the back of this too. And I still have my room for my pen. I just glued everything down. I use um, a lot of liquid glue, the Scott's Quit Dry, and my ATG gun just to go over everything. And I let it completely dry before I moved on to doing anything else with it. Okay, so to do the binding, you just take just a plain old ring whatever size uh, cardboard you're going to use chipboard 
and you just open it up like this and you're going to put it closer put it here mark it so you want to open it up so it's halfway like this mark it and right here so I got my two holes crop it down just like that Got your two holes. Take this. Thread it through. And you have your closer. Just like that. You can um, even flip it around if you did it backwards like I always do. And there you go super easy and a lot of ribbon I'm not done adding more purple ribbon to it but it's a super easy ideal and you can use it on um, binder books all types of projects okay so if you have any comments leave a message at the bottom I will get back to you on this um, I hope this was very helpful to a few people have a good night everybody